This story is going to blow your mind. Allow me to introduce you to Cora Obidi. She's Nigerian, so I'm assuming it's Obidi, right? Delta Princess musician, pro dancer. Give me love out now. Must be a singer as well, not just a dancer, right? Now, Cora Obidi is married to a white man. <laughs> So we got some interracial relationships going on here, man. We got the United Nations in the building, right? But let's look to what Cora Obidi did to this white man. <laughs> bro, you can't make this up, dude. This whole story is crazier, bro. Every video, it gets crazier. Check this out. Cora went to Nigeria for our friend's wedding, five months pregnant, and... Girl's trip. <laughs> Yay! Slept with this woman's fiancé. Damn! <laughs> That's the beginning of the video. <laughs> So she was sleeping around while pregnant with my child, and I saw the text messages Ooh. that they took from his phone. And here, and here they are. I removed names to protect the people that told me about this. Oh, nah, bro. What is this? WhatsApp, bro? What kind of third world country shit is this? Seems like you've improved your skills. Core, did you just insult me? Abi, boo, whatever. Oh. Um, it feels like you were reaching my womb. <laughs> Some shit like that, bro. But your pregnant woman. Ooh. Okay. No, not okay. It felt like hopes I didn't tamper with Justin's unborn baby. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh man. People bear with me here, man. Every message gets crazy every time I see it, man. Like, I've, I've seen the video already, but every time I hear these words, man, it just crushes me. Athena. Nah, the baby. So, I was upset because I found out that my ex-wife had been sleeping around while pregnant with our daughter. I would have been more upset about the fact that she said it felt like it was reaching for my womb. I'm not even going to lie, man. The cheating part, I would have been really pissed off about. But you being a white dude, bro, and her going to Nigeria and saying some shit like that is like, at that point, fuck the kid, man. It's like, damn, I'm scarred for life, man. <laughs> which is very risky business, which, you know, like, like you get an STD or something while you're pregnant. That's a big deal. Um, not only that... While she was pregnant, after she came back from Nigeria, she confided in me that she didn't think the kid was mine. So I found out that she had been sleeping around while pregnant with my child. And then she told me the child most likely wasn't mine. Of course. Of course I'm going to have a very visceral and emotional reaction. I think she probably said that to me so that she could get the reaction, record it, to put it on social media. That don't really work like that on white dudes, man. White dudes' ability to keep themselves composed when women violate them, bro, is insane. It blows my mind every single time, bro. Minorities, not so much. But I'm a human being. I said what I said because of what I found out and what I was told. And my, my, my plan was I was leaving. There was no way I was staying with her. Um, my plan was to leave when Athena was three months old. But I just, I just, I was done. I just, I didn't care what people thought. I didn't care. I needed to protect my kids and raise them in a healthy living environment. She would have chose a better woman, bro. But let's look at her apology now. It gets crazier. It gets crazier, right? What he said is crazy. Her apology is even crazier. And then... What he says after that. I mean, just follow the video all the way to the end. And in the end, we're going to find out whether he learned his lesson or not. <laughs> this is crazy, people. I'm telling you. You can't. Yo, Hollywood can't write stories like this. I'm not the chronic cheat. <laughs> Did you just hear how she started that video? This is her apology. This is her. Cora OBD finally admits that she cheated on her husband, right? She said, I am not a chronic cheat. I am far from a chronic cheat. Um, I'm just a woman who was honest to her husband. Um... Before I came to America, I was... Passport, bros, y'all better be careful. <laughs> y'all better be careful. I've been telling y'all that ain't it. Don't be listening to the rap, you dudes, bro. The third world ain't it. Those women are much, much more savage than the ones right here in the States, bro. It was during the Trump's tenure. 
I was very like, do I even want to live in America? I have my career here in Nigeria. I don't know if I want to move. I love this guy, but I'm not sure. I was very, very indecisive and I tasted from Pandora's box. I had an affair. Bro, how casually she can just say that, man. Yo, these women's level of accountability, bro, is like negative 100, bro. That affair lasted like one date. <laughs> Oh no, she doesn't understand that. That's worse. That's worse, man. An affair that lasts a few months is that you like the dude, right? You like the dude. You came back for more, you know, a year, whatever. It might have been a relationship. But when you say it only lasted one day, that means I just wanted to get piped down and that's all you wanted. Ooh. I felt bad about it, but I had not moved to America. Upon getting to America, I was very very look, sad that i had look at her friend next to her man the way she went like this like yo this bitch is crazy <laughs> yo the shit a lot of people put up with bro just because their friends might have money or you know just for, just because they might get something out of the relationship is crazy I made that mistake with the guy that i love and i told him the truth i said hey i had an affair in nigeria you just you heard what she said i told him the truth like she didn't get caught <laughs> She got caught in 4K, bro. She said she's making it seem like she came clean. And I don't want us to ever have secrets. So here's the deal. I had an affair before I got here. He was like, how can you cheat on me, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm sorry. This was before I ever got here. We got, we came, I came to America on a fiance visa. So when I got here is when we got legally married. And I told him, I'm sorry. He said, you cheated on me. I said, I don't want to leave you. You're the one who I love. And that was that about that. However, for the duration of my marriage, I think that was the worst, worst, that was the worst thing that I ever did for myself in that marriage because I was trying to have closure with this man, but I, I just shot myself in the foot with that. All right, let's go back to old boy here. Let's let, let's hear what he has to say, right? Check this out. Dr. Justin Dean publicly apologizes to Cora OBD and her family. Listen to what he's apologizing for. The comments that I made about um, Cora being a chronic cheater. Let me read this, right? Real quick for you guys, right? This is my apology to the OBD family about the chronic cheating claims. Only a white man would say some shit like this or, or make a video like this. Listen to what he said. Claims. Chronic cheating claims, right? And he tagged her. And her dad, Papa, <laughs> that's the most African shit ever. June and Athena are my children, and I love them. I'd be there for them every day, even I'm not married to Cora. Now, now let's listen to what he has to say. We're inaccurate, to my knowledge. She cheated at the beginning of the relationship. It caused a rift. <laughs> He's apologizing for using the wrong terminology to describe what she was. He called her a chronic cheater, right? But technically, she's not a chronic cheater, right? Because she only cheated at the beginning of the relationship, right? Might have been two or three times. Maybe that's not uh, enough times for it to be considered chronic. This is what he's apologizing. Only a white man would do some shit like this, bro. Get caught up in the details, bro. I used the wrong wording. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have forgiven her and we have tried to move on. Um, everything, all the comments about these children not being mine are absolutely false. These are my children. I love them. And all other statements that I made in that post are accurate and correct. The kids ended up being his is what pretty much what he's trying to say, right? All right, now let's see if he actually learned his lesson, right? Because this is a man who just doesn't want to give up on love, right? So the question is now, did he learn? Because I mean, he made another video, right? With another woman, another black woman. And she's, oh man, she's a fine young thing, man. She, she's definitely more pretty than Cora. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Let's look at the chick right here. Now, I'm not gonna play the video to save you the pain, right? But Cora Obedee's ex, Justin Dean, and girlfriend announced their wedding. That's his new girl right there, right? beautiful woman that's a beautiful woman right there right now the funny thing about that video is that she too is a dancer and a model and is living in that world and guess what he's bringing her back to <laughs> america <laughs> bro this is fucking crazy look at her face man the way she's buying her lips like yeah i'm about to get my papers we go to america she got some connections over there she's going to hollywood a model whatever the case may be it don't matter but look at his face bro like dude how do you go through that experience and then jump right back into another one the same type of chick same industry it's like the exact same story bro he's dating the same woman in a different body and he thinks he's gonna have a different outcome but hey he better hope that the broski don't find her out there in them in the hollywood hills man because man he gonna have a bald headed baby bro in about 12 months regular people have kids in 10 months when the broski 
seeds up a woman, it takes about a year. You know what I'm saying? Talk less, do more is an embodiment of the spirit that the broski carries. Because around here, we don't talk about it, we'll be about it. So if you want to help support and grow the broski army, the broski channel, the broski movement, go out there and get yourself a little water bottle, man. If you're out there hitting them gyms, man, get yourself a little coffee mug to remind yourself, man. Stop talking so much, man, and start doing. You know what I'm saying? So if you have some goals you're trying to attack, man, and you want to attach yourself to a meaning that's going to empower you, go cop that right now, man. The link is in the description box, man. Y'all see it below, man. Make sure you subscribe, like, share, and I see you next time. Peace!